upon arriving at the church, the servers should go to the schedule on the liturgical ministries board and check off their names. They should then go to the vesting sacristy. Here they will select an alb, check the calendar for the color of the day, and then choose a cincher to match that color. One of the servers will go to the working sacristy and select a lucifer for the lighting of the candles. The lucifer may be lit from a votive candle. The server will then light both altar candles and both ambo candles. After lighting the candles, the server will replace the lucifer in the sanctuary and go to the rear of the hall. While one server is lighting the candles, the other will pick up the processional cross from its stand and also move to the rear of the hall. The servers will now wait for the presider before lining up for the procession to start the Mass. Once the presider is ready, he will signal the cantor. When the choir begins to sing, the procession will begin to move. In the procession, the server with the processional cross is first, followed by the other server, a deacon or lector with a book of Gospels, and lastly, the presider. Upon reaching the altar, the procession stops with the servers taking positions roughly in line with their kneelers. The presider will be just to the right of center of the altar, and the deacon or lector with a book of Gospels will be to the presider's left. The person carrying the book of Gospels will not stop with the rest of the procession, but will continue to the altar, where they will place the book of Gospels in the stand at the altar's front. They will then return to the front of the altar, where all will bow. If the reader is a lector, they will return to their seat, while the presider and servers will move into the sanctuary. If a deacon is present, he will also move into the sanctuary with the presider. The server with the processional cross will place it in its holder, and will then stand by their kneeler. This server is referred to as the cross. The other server will stand behind the kneeler upon which the Roman Missal is lying. This server is referred to as the book. Both servers will remain standing during the entrance rite. Once the Gloria has been sung, the presider will say, Let us pray. At this, the book will take the Roman Missal to the presider for the reading of the collect. Once the prayer is finished, the presider will close the missal, and the book will replace it on the kneeler. Both servers will now sit in unison. The servers will remain seated for the first reading, the singing of the psalm, and the second reading. A few seconds after the second reading, the presider will stand for the reading of the gospel. All will now stand. Once the Gospel reading is finished, all will sit for the homily. At the end of the homily, the presider will sit for a few seconds. He will then stand and invite all to stand for the profession of faith. After the profession of faith, the prayers of the faithful and intentions will be read, and at their conclusion, the presider and the congregation will be seated, and the servers will begin to prepare the altar for communion. The book will begin by placing the Roman Missal on the altar, Joseph's side front, using the Book of Gospel stand to tilt it toward the presider. The cross will place the chalice on the upper corner of the open corporal on the altar. The cross will then pick up the processional cross and go to the rear of the hall and wait with the gift bearers for the presentation of the gifts. Meanwhile, the book will continue setting the altar by placing the four cups on the corporal at the front of the altar. The book will then return and sit at the kneeler. After a short time, the presider will rise and move to the front of the altar. The book will follow, taking a position just to the presider's right and slightly behind him. As the presider is moving to the front of the altar, 
the cross will begin moving toward the altar with the gift bearers. Upon reaching the altar, the cross will continue into the sanctuary and will replace the processional cross in the stand. The presider will receive the gift of wine first and will hand it to the book. Meanwhile, the cross will have gone to the credence table, picked up the cruet of water, and moved to the rear of the altar on Mary's side. The presider will now receive the gift of the bread, and then he and the book will return to the altar with the book standing to the right of the cross. After the presentation of the bread, the presider will take the cruet of wine, pour it into the chalice, and return the cruet to the book. He will then take the cruet of water from the cross, pour a bit into the chalice, and return the cruet. At this point, both servers shall bow to the presider. Both servers move to the credence table, where one picks up the pitcher, the other the bowl and towel, placing the towel over an arm just above the wrist. Both servers now return to the altar. After the presider finishes his prayer, he will place his hand over the bowl and the other server will pour water over his hand. The presider then dries his hands and replaces the towel over the server's arm. The servers then bow to the presider and return the pitcher, bowl, and towel to the credence table. The servers then return to their respective kneelers and remain standing as the presider begins the Eucharistic prayer. At the conclusion of the preface, the holy will be sung, ending with, Hosanna in the highest. At this, all kneel. The presider will continue the Eucharistic prayer and will ask God to send down his Holy Spirit to change the gifts into the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. As he does this, he will hold his hands over the host and the chalice and make the sign of the cross. At this point, the cross will ring the bells once. As he continues the narrative of the Last Supper, the presider will show the consecrated host to the people by raising it. At this time, the cross will ring the bells three times. The presider continues and now shows the precious blood to the people by raising the chalice. Again, the cross shall ring the bells three times. After concluding the Eucharistic prayer, the presider will lead the people in the Lord's Prayer, at which time all will stand. This will be followed by the sign of peace. After the sign of peace, the presider will go to the tabernacle to retrieve the pre-consecrated hosts. At this time, the book will take the two patents from the credence table and place them on the altar. The book will then take the Roman Missal from the altar and place it on the top of the kneeler and will then stand behind the kneeler. The priest will lead the Lamb of God while elevating the consecrated host over the paten. At its end, all kneel. The presider will make the invitation to communion by saying, Behold the Lamb of God. He will then receive communion. At the invitation, Behold the Lamb of God, the communion ministers will have come forward to form a line in front of the altar. Once the presider has received, the servers will leave the sanctuary and take positions on the ends of the minister's line. Once all in line have received communion and the ministers have all received their vessels, the servers shall return to the sanctuary and stand by their kneelers. During communion, the servers will watch the cup ministers on their respective sides of the hall. If a minister should require a new purificator, the server will get one from the drawer in the credence table and take it to the minister in need. They will then return to their position in the sanctuary. Once the presider begins to collect the ciborium and patents after communion, the cross shall go to the credence table and get the cruet of water and then move to the rear of the altar, Mary's side. Once the presider has collected all vessels, 
he will begin the purification of them. The book will now have joined the cross beside the altar. After the presider has wiped the ciborium and patents clean, he will give them to the book, who will return them to the credence table, then return to the altar. The presider will then ask the cross to pour some water into the chalice. After doing this, the cross will return the cruet to the credence table and will then go to the ambo. After purifying the chalice, the presider will fold and place the linens and the paten on it. He will then give the chalice to the book, who will place it on the credence table and then return to stand by the kneeler. Meanwhile, the cross will remove the book of gospels from the ambo and will place it on the altar. The cross will then return to the kneeler and both servers will sit in unison. After a short time, the presider will invite all to stand and he will give the solemn blessing, then the final blessing, and the dismissal. After the choir has sung a verse or two, the presider will reverence the altar and will move out of the sanctuary to the front of the altar area. The cross will take the processional cross, while a deacon or lector will take the book of gospels and stand next to the presider. The servers will line up as they had for the procession before Mass. After they have all reverenced the altar, they will process out. After the procession has reached the rear of the hall, the cross shall continue up the aisle on Mary's side, stopping at the front by the baptismal font. They should wait until the choir has finished and then replace the processional cross in the stand and extinguish the altar and ambo candles before returning to the vesting sacristy to take off the alb.